Hi everyone, I'm Cristina, Chief Creative Officer at Scorly, and today we are going to talk about Focus Pages, the overview. Focus Pages optimization. First, let's understand what a Focus Page is. Focus Pages are the most important pages in your site. They are the money makers, a limited number of pages you want visitors who've never visited your site to see. A focus page is a specific page that you've optimized around one main keyword or a group of related keywords. They are the pages that you want to rank higher in search engines. When you focus on the right keyword, your page becomes a strong contender for the top spots in search engines. So basically, the focus pages are extremely well written and are packed with insights that provide tremendous value to your audience. They reflect your business they can also be long-form posts that include insights and ideas which could serve as standalone blog articles. The content is original and exciting. They should sit on top of your site's pyramid as they are pillar content. They can be evergreen articles or pages, meaning the featured content is continually relevant, does not become dated, or they can be conversion-based pages. So basically, the pages which can bring you the most conversion will usually be your focus pages. Building your focus page strategy. Now let's talk strategy. Once you've chosen your main keyword, add it to Scully SEO briefcase. This helps organize all your keywords in one place. But don't stop there. Target multiple keywords that are relevant to your main keyword. This gives your page more chances to show up in search results. Make sure to always check your SEO strategy to ensure you're on the right path. Optimizing content for focus pages. Creating the best content is key to ranking higher. Squarvis Live Assistant will guide you through optimizing your content. It suggests changes to improve your article and ensures your content is readable. Be sure to update your content regularly, keeping it fresh and relevant. Clear, easy-to-read content helps both search engines and your audience. Checking your platform's SEO. To ensure your focus pages perform well, your platform's SEO needs to be set up right. First, check if SEO automation is working to do the heavy lifting for you. Make sure your robot's text file is correctly configured, allowing search engines to crawl your site properly. Don't forget to review your SEO snippet settings. This is what shows up in search results. Optimize SEO snippets. Your SEO snippets is the first thing users see in search results, so make it count. Customize your title and description to make them more appealing. Including your keywords here will help attract the right audience. Structured data like JSON-LD can also make your page eligible for featured snippets. It's all about making your page stand out in search engines. Optimizing your images. Images are an important part of your page. To boost SEO, name your image file using your main keyword. Don't forget to write descriptive alt tags for each image. This helps search engines understand what's in your images, making them more likely to show up in image search results. Tracking and improving traffic. Traffic head is a key indicator of a page's success. Use Google Analytics to see how well your focus page is performing. Set goals for the average time user spends on the page and how many visits you want per day. If visitors leave quickly, high bounce rate, it's time to adjust your content to keep them engaged. Ensure your platform is SEO ready. Your platform must be in the top shape for optimal SEO performance. Run regular audits to identify any SEO issues. Fix duplicate content, ensure fast loading speeds and make sure your site is mobile friendly. A smooth user experience is crucial for keeping visitors on your page longer. Strengthen page authority and backlinks. Building authority for your page is essential for ranking higher. Check your page authority score using Squarly and work on acquiring backlinks from reputable sites. Make sure those backlinks are relevant to your content or your page. Quality backlinks signal to Google that your page is trustworthy and valuable. Using social media to boost SEO. Social signals are an important factor in SEO. 
encourage your audience to share your focus pages on social media, on platforms like Facebook, X and Pinterest. Aim to have at least 100 social shares for each focus page. This tells search engines your content is popular and trustworthy. Boost your focus page with internal links. Internal linking is a powerful SEO tactic. By linking to other pages on your site, you're creating a better experience for your visitors and spreading link authority across your site. Ensure that each focus page has at least five internal links pointing to it. This helps search engines understand the structure of your website. Managing outbound links. Outbound links can send your page SEO value to other sites. Set the links to nofollow to ensure that the link just stays on your site. Always make sure your outbound links are relevant to your content, as this adds value to your visitors without harming your page's authority. Ensuring accuracy in your optimization. Accuracy is key to a successful focus page. Double check that your SEO settings, content changes and keyword usage are all correct. This ensures you're following SEO best practices and not missing any important details. So now let's get inside our WordPress dashboard in order to see how the focus page feature really looks like. Once we are inside our WordPress dashboard, we have to go over here to Squally SEO and focus pages or over here to Squally SEO, focus pages and focus pages. So this is basically the focus page feature. Over here, we have some information about the focus page feature. Then we have the option to filter by red elements. Red elements are the issues that stand in your way of getting to the top of Google. They are different tasks, each relevant for different factors, which impact your chances of ranking. Squarely checks your pages, and if something is not right, it will flag using the color red. When clicking on a red element, you learn more about the problem we found, and what tools and tactics from Scholly SEO you can use to fix it on the right side over here. For this particular red element, the keyword competition is the problem. Then we have yellow elements. These are tasks that are only partially complete. And the green elements, those are your SEO wins, the thing that help you achieve fast page Google rankings. Every time you manage to turn a red light to a green one, you basically win. Every task you complete represents an SEO victory. So basically the end goal is turning what you see in focus page section green. Then we have over here the focus pages. We have the name of the focus page, the link of the focus page, when was the last time audited, the option to see more details, the option to request a new audit, and then we have the chance to rank. The chance of rank is dynamically calculated by the Squarely SEO machine learning based on the main keyword you selected for a focus page. For each focus page, Squally display the chance of ranking in a super dynamic system that is only available now with Squally SEO. The algorithm behind the chance to rank is a very complex one, but the fastest way to increase your chances is to complete the main task like visibility, keyword competition, content optimization, content length, social signals, daily traffic, inner links and external non-follow links. If you manage to get the trophy on the chance of rank column, it means that that particular focus page ranks on the top 10 positions in Google. Then we have visibility. If we are clicking on the dot over here, we can see the task on the right side for this particular category. If we want to learn more about those tasks, we simply have to click on it and we have more details for that particular task. Then we have keyword, strategy, SEO content, words per page, platform SEO, snippet, SEO image, traffic health, platform health, page authority, social signals, backlinks, inner links, outbound links, accuracy, click-through rate, impressions, clicks. And then we have those three dots at the end of the focus page, where we can request a new audit for the focus page, we can inspect the URL, or we can stop monitoring this particular focus page. So let's click on the inspect URL. Over here, we have more information about this particular focus page. We can see the source code over here. And then we can see the loading time, the metas for this particular page, the open graph, the Twitter card, the JSON LD, 
information about the article, like how many words, the main keyword and the percentage that is optimized for that keyword, the images and so on. The Google Search Console for that particular keyword, clicks impression, click to rate and the position and the ranking over here, the keyword position and the URL. We can close it by clicking on this X over here. And we can also click on stop monitoring. So this way you have basically empty a slot for a new focus page. So once a focus page has reached the number one page on Google, you can simply stop monitoring that page and add a different focus page for you to focus on. And then we have some tips and tricks and of course access to free learning materials. In order to add a new focus page, you have to go over here to add new page. From over here, you can filter by category type like post pages and so on, or by status like publish, uh, draft and so on. You can also search for a page using the search bar over here. Then you have the pages with the name and the URL and you can click on this button over here, set focus page. If the page is already added to the focus page, you can see over here, see tasks. So let's add a focus page. Let's click on this button over here. And now if we are clicking on see task over here, we are going to see the page over here. The chance of ranking is pretty low. We have some issues with the SEO content, the page authority, and it doesn't have any impressions and any clicks for the moment and quite few social signals. So we have to work on this page. So you know how to add a new focus page. You know how to stop tracking a focus page in order to empty a slot for a different focus page basically to cycle your focus pages if the page is already in the top 10 position in google or the campaign is over or that page simply doesn't perform well and you want to try with a different one you have also seen how to filter by right element by going over here and click on one of the categories that have problem at this particular moment and clicking on it you can see just the column for that particular category and by clicking on the dot over here we can see what the problem is and by clicking on the task on the right side, we can see more information about the task. And we also have the option to refresh the filter over here. So all that is left for me to show you for this focus page overview is this button over here, details. So basically now you can see once again information about the focus page. You have the button to go back to see all focus pages. You have information about this particular focus page, the name, the URL, one was last time audited, the option to request a new audit, and that these three dots, the option to request a new audit, the option to inspect URL, and the option to stop monitoring. Then we have chances of ranking and progress and achievements for the last 90 days. We got more social shares, we have increased the organic clicks, and the rank has increased as well as the page loads. Then if you are scrolling a little bit, we can see all the categories. We have visibility and on the right side, we have the tasks that we have for this particular category, keyword, strategy, SEO content, words per page, platform SEO, snippet, SEO image, traffic health, platform health, page authority, social signals, backlinks, inner links, outbound links, accuracy, click through rate, impressions and clicks. Then if we are scrolling a bit more, we have some tips and tricks and access to learning materials. So this is basically it for the overview of focus pages. So thank you for tuning in, stay creative, stay inspired and keep optimizing your online presence. Until next time.